Hey guys, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial. And today we'll be creating a very simple poster design as always on my favorite software that is Ada Photoshop. And if you're new to this channel and haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please do subscribe my channel. And also all the resources, brushes, color alerts, everything that I'm using for this project will be available on my Patreon. And so if you want to check my Patreon, the link is in the description list below. So with that note, let's dive into the video. So here we are in Photoshop and first thing first, let's create an artboard. So I'll just click on file, click on new, and I'll just go with the four by three resolution to 300, color mode to RGB, bitrate to eight. Let's keep it as eight and let's click on create. And let's go over here, click on select and let's click on select subject. And let's click on create layer max, right click. Let's convert to the smart object. Let's go to filter and let's go to camera raw filter. And let's increase the clarity just like so. Increase the texture. Uh, let's dehaze a little bit. Yep, just like that. And let's drop down the vibrance maybe somewhere over here. Let's drop down the highlights. And let's lift the saddle just a little touch and let's click on OK and let's go to filter then let's go to uh, filter gallery and let's go to cut out and let's see let's apply a simple cut out yep maybe yep let's keep it maybe somewhere yeah let's keep it maybe somewhere over here and let's click on OK and let's make a copy Control J go to the filter gallery again and this time I will just go with uh, maybe posture is yeah let's go for this one and let's uh, drop down the intensity yep, let's increase the posterize label and maybe let's increase the thickness just like that just to get some hard edges and let's click on OK and let's change the blending mode to let's see let's go for i guess soft light looks good to me and let's keep everything inside a group Control g you know what let's drop down the opacity just a little bit i think that's too much yep let's keep it like that and let's go to our main work -um. let's create a new layer go to brush and let's start uh, creating some background and for creating the background uh, i'm going to use some dried splatter brush and let's change the color to kind of kind of this color yeah I'll, I'll, also, I'll just go with kind of this color yep and let's see let's go for another brush and let's see let's go for this one i'll just create some some random pattern Okay, let's create a kind of random pattern and let's go over here add a rectangle yep just like that let's make it around it and from here let's change the fill to none and let's change the stroke color to kind of yellow color and let's change the stroke size a little bigger yep something like that and let's make a one more copy yep and let's put keep them together inside a group control G control T let's move it maybe somewhere over here and then again let's create a layer max go to press and let's make a color black and let's erase some of these parts and 
and uh, let's go for another brush let's see yep I'll just go with this brush let's make it a little smaller let's make some changes yep just like so and then again let's add some variations yep let's keep it like that and then now let's drag and drop uh, this image right over here Control T let's uh, make it a little smaller and let's do some changes right over here Control T let's add a little rotation let's make it a little smaller and let's keep it maybe somewhere over here all right now let's create a layer max go to brush and let's edit some of these parts and then let's go for another brush yep let's use this one let's edit some of this part and let's go for another brush Yep, I'll just go with this one or maybe Yep, I'll just go with this one and let's eat it and let's make a uh, one more copy Control j and let's add a color hue and saturation right over here let's click on create clipping max and let's drop down the saturation and from here let's erase some more parts so for that i'll just use this one create clipping max so yep let's keep it just like so and then now let's create a one more layer on very top go to brush and i'll just go with a default brush and then let's draw some random lines let's change the color to i'll just make it black maybe a little smaller So it's completely up to you like uh, how what kind of look you're looking for so i'll just create a new layer go to brush again and then i'll just like to add a simple splatter uh, right over here so yep, let's see i'll just make it white and then let's drag and drop another image right around here and let's change the blending mode to let's change the blending mode to multiply control t let's make it a little bigger and then let's go over here add a color lookup and from here click on load and i'll just use my mood lot so select this one click on load and let's add a hue and saturation and from here let's uh, drop down the hue value to maybe kind of over here for that and now let's add a new layer on very top go to brush and with using the same color same brush i'll just go for a yellow color just like so and let's add a stroke on very back 
let's keep it right over here and let's create a one more layer on top and I'll just go with kind of more warmer red yep just like that and let's change the blending more to soft light and let's drop down the opacity just like so so this is kind of same technique that I applied for this uh, poster so hope you guys love this tutorial and see you guys in the next video bye bye